Oh, it's like shortbread. Mm. Yeah, it tastes kind of terrible. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Sailor Guardians? Welcome to my YouTube channel, all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how-tos. Today, I have this huge haul of everything that I collected from the Sailor Moon Museum, which happened in 2022. This year, 2024, I know that I have holiday stuff up, but I'm recording this before Christmas. This year, the Sailor Moon Museum is back and it is traveling around Japan. So without further ado, let's go ahead and break into my giant pile of Sailor Moon Museum items. Now you may recall from last year I did a haul video because I did go to this Sailor Moon Museum in person in Japan as soon as Japan opened up their borders after you know all the things that were happening in the world. So I was able to get a lot of these items in person. I did not have to order them via a third party. However, after I had gone, they also announced that they were releasing all of these items as uh, online merchandise that you could purchase after the museum closed via the Pretty Guardians Sailor Moon Japanese fan club. So anything that was sold out or out of stock when I went to visit, I was able to get online. So I was able to complete this entire collection in terms of items that I really wanted to purchase. Some of these are a little ridiculous, but you know me, I love my character stuff. So let's get into it. First, we have this entire series of acrylic stands. Now I'll probably just leave these in the bag, but I really like these acrylic stands and the art. This art is new and it's super Super, super cute. So here we have Sailor Pluto, a little chibi Sailor Pluto. Sailor Uranus right here. Sailor Neptune, very cute. Sailor Saturn, I love her eyes. So pretty. Sailor Moon, Sailor Mercury, Sailor Venus, so cute. I have an extra one of her. Sailor Jupiter, Sailor Mars, and we have Chibi Moon, of course, and she's so tiny. She's like just slightly bigger than my thumb. These are Cardas Collector's Edition folders, which include some trading cards on the interior of them. So these are all prism cards. They're very, very pretty. I really like these. I'm probably gonna keep these in the folders to keep them nice and intact and brand new. Very beautiful cards. The version two ones came with this beautiful art on the front. And then we have the rest of the Sailor Guardians as prism cards. Cute little trading cards. I haven't gotten into collecting a bunch of vintage trading cards yet, but I promise y'all it will happen. This is a jumbo trading card that came if you purchased both of those together. Really, really pretty as well. I love this piece. It's so, so gorgeous. These are two different sets of metallic can badges. So these are like pins, can badges. So first we have the inner guardians, all metallic-y and beautiful from Eternal. Then we have the Outer Guardians. Really pretty display of all these beautiful can badges. I love the metallic art, it's very pretty. This gorgeous Sailor Moon Museum notebook was a must have. I love the binding on here, it's very pretty. Love that silver art. The back of it, of course, we have the Moon Kingdom and it is so pretty again. We have Princess Serenity on the front. I remember this art from a giant tapestry at the exhibition which happened in 2016, which I also went to. And then the inside, oh, that's pretty. Yeah, I haven't even opened this yet. That's really beautiful. I love that print. That is a beautiful pattern. And the inside, the notebook is lined. I like that. And it also comes with this little string bookmark. Cute, very, very pretty. This is a beautiful notebook. Love it. Some acrylic stands. These were three limited edition stands that were only sold at the museum and then later on the Pretty Guardians fan club. This one is my favorite. There was also a beautiful, beautiful, like giant canvas print of this at the Sailor Moon Museum. So this features all of the Sailor Guardians. Then we have this beautiful one of Sailor Moon with her cape. That was also brand new art for the museum. And we have this one of Sailor Moon in front of a gorgeous gemstone. This holographic print was just so pretty. I couldn't put this down. It was so gorgeous. This paper is so cute. I absolutely love it. I don't know if I would ever use it. I know that these are used for something very specific in Japan and I don't remember what it is, but these are gorgeous pieces of paper and I just love it. I love this notebook. It's so cute. Very, very pretty. These are a series of 
ticket cases. So what you're supposed to do with these is put tickets in them. If you have like tickets for trains or tickets for events, uh, and then you can store them in there and keep them nice and safe. If you like to collect those kind of things, my best friend recommended using these for receipts. Like if you have to expense report and I love that idea cause I travel a lot for work. So being able to organize all my receipts in here, whenever I'm traveling is so much nicer and easier than trying to sort them when I get home out of my luggage. They released a whole bunch of postcards at the Sailor Moon Museum, including these three sets, as well as a bunch of singular postcard sets. This first postcard set, I believe this was the last one that came out. This one features four different postcards on the inside of it. Really, really pretty postcards, love them. The second postcard set, this one features a gorgeous happy birthday one of Sailor Moon, Chibi Chibi, and Chibi. Then we have some of my favorite art pieces. And the first one that came out, this one features mostly Sailor Moon. So we have Princess Serenity here, a very classic piece drawn by Naoko. All of these are drawn by Naoko, of course. And then we have the singular postcards. Lots of different art was shared on these postcards. I love that they're all manga and they're all drawn originally by Naoko. So really beautiful pieces to add to my collection and very, very inexpensive like souvenirs from the museum. This one's very pretty really, really stunning. Uh, this one was fairly new art that she had drawn recently. And then we have a lot of art that was previously released during the time of the 1990s manga. Princess Serenity, that's fairly new, and these last two. This is a very pretty plaque that you could pick up from the museum that has a very special little trading card inside of it. So here we have this metal uh, piece that features Sailor Moon. It's very, very metallic-y really pretty. It says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Museum limited edition on the front of it. It comes with a little acrylic pipe that you can put in the back of it to stand it up and be able to display this piece. Now one thing I noticed on here that I did not notice until I purchased it was that there's a little bit of laser etching going into the acrylic frame around the card. That looks so cool. I didn't even realize that was there until now. How pretty. Ooh, I love it. Gorgeous. If you collect masking tapes, this is a masking tape holder. So in order to use this masking tape holder, you just pull it apart, put your masking tapes on the pipe of the moon stick, and then push it back together. Very, very simple, really easy to do. It is plastic, it's hollow, very inexpensive item, but super cute, nice way to display masking tapes. I love items that look vintage or traditional Japanese. This is gorgeous. This laser etching of Luna and Artemis on the front is just beautiful. I love that art. It's so, so cool. It looks very astronomy, really, really pretty. And when you open this, such a lovely wooden piece of art. Oh my gosh. It's a set of chopsticks, but it's so pretty. I never want to use them. So these chopsticks feature both Luna and Artemis on them. Up at the top, we have Luna right there. And then on the other ones is Artemis. They also came with a couple of little wooden chopstick holders so that you don't place your chopsticks directly on a table, which you're not supposed to do. So here we have one of Luna and then this one of Artemis. I just love how detailed these pieces of wood have been laser etched with art. And I really like the design that went into creating this box. I think it's really pretty, even though I'm not gonna necessarily use it because I don't wanna screw up the chopsticks. This is a really beautiful piece that I could add to my collection. The Sailor Moon Museum came out with this plushie that kind of makes no sense, but it's really cute and I just wanted it. I don't, there's no reason <laughs> behind me wanting this plushie other than I really liked it. It was so cute. So here we have Artemis and then you flip it around and it's Luna. So it's black and white <laughs> cut off down the center, but we have Artemis represented as well as Luna. It's just cute. I really liked it. It was just adorable, an adorable plushie. Um, bigger than what I thought it was going to be. So when it came in, I was very surprised by the size, but cute. Very, very cute. I am just making a giant pile in front of myself here. Here I have a very cute little towel or a muffler towel as they called it uh, from the Sailor Moon Museum. This one features the two cats on a very beautiful navy blue print. It does say Pretty Guardians on it as well. Very pretty. So this kind of muffler towel is very, very long and skinny. I think if I was to use this for anything, I would probably lay it along a console table as a piece to display as a 
opposed to actually using it. Just a couple of microfiber towels. Really like collecting microfiber towels. I use these all the time to clean electronics and love that we have all the classic logos represented on this one. And then we have this beautiful 1990s art of Sailor Moon on the other one. If you are a fan of the classic anime, then this was just a must. I love that we have all those logos on this tote bag represented. Uh, this is a simple canvas tote bag. There's nothing much to it, but very nice and big and feels pretty sturdy. So super happy to add that to my collection, especially since I'm trying not to use plastic bags whenever I go out shopping. I like to use reusables as much as possible. I don't know if I will ever wear these pair of shorts, but just the fact that we have the logo on here, I think they're so fun. They're so 1990s. Like if I ever have a 90s party, I'm gonna wear these because they are in style for the 1990s. Don't you think? Like the drawstring waistline, the super long shorts. Like obviously I could, I could probably give these to my husband and have him wear them, but he's not really into wearing Sailor Moon stuff. Maybe he would for like a 1990s style party, but any other day he probably wouldn't wear these. <laughs> I think they're going to be too big for me, but I'm totally going to try these on. <laughs> this is so fun. Okay, this shirt, on the other hand, this is a button-up shirt. It's very cute. It feels like it's a woven material, and this also features, of course, the 1990s logos. Uh, this was a one-size-only shirt that you could get from the museum, and so cool. Like I would wear this. I think I will wear this. I'm probably gonna, just going to wear this over like a maybe a crop top or something that's a little bit more form fitting because this is much too big for me, but it's so cute. Yo, this is cute. I'm excited. I feel like I'm going shopping right now. This is pretty much the same print, but it's a bandana. It's very, very thin like a thin cotton material. The last piece of clothing that I got is this adorable bucket hat. Uh, had to get it, it's two-sided, it's reversible. So on the front side, we have this embroidery crescent moon on a white cap. Cute, I like it. Could wear this in the summertime. On the inside of it though, we have the logo, the Sailor Moon logo. Now I'd probably cut off the tag so that it's not hanging out whenever I wear this, but you could totally wear this reversible with the Sailor Moon logo on the outside. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like it. <laughs> what do you think? Would you wear one of these? Would you wear any of those items? We've got a beautiful can badge with that art specifically made for the museum. I picked up a lot of smaller items. These are three different masking tapes. That one has the logos on it. This one has Sailor Moon's items. And then we have a couple of chibi characters on this one. I, I believe this features all of the Sailor Guardians as little chibis. Very, very cute little masking tapes. I love these little, I don't even know what they're called, Ramune maybe? These little candies are so yummy. So I ended up getting a bunch of these from the Sailor Moon store. I collected like six, maybe six different packets of these. They're just so yummy and delicious. So I, I got a bunch of these. This is a sticker featuring the logos. And I got these really lovely coasters, these nice heavy like ceramic coasters featuring Sailor Moon's items, her compacts. Very cool. I love that we have her saying represented at the bottom. Moon Prism Power, Moon Cosmic Power, Moon Crystal Power. So you can see the differences. That's really pretty. I think it was Laser Cat Design that inspired me to do this because she did this with her Volks dolls. But you can grab all of these cute little notepads. They're notepads. They, they have little like note post-it notes on the inside of them, but they look like the manga and they are the perfect size for a Volks doll to hold. I do have all the DDS Volks dolls of the Inner Sailor Guardian, so I could give each of them their character manga and I could make it look like they're reading their own little manga all together. So cute. This little compact mirror is super adorable. It features Princess Serenity on the front of it with this very pretty glitter all throughout. I grabbed a couple of little items to use. We got a lip cream as well as a hand cream. I'm curious what the hand cream smells like. It's probably rose. These usually smell like rose. Yeah, smells like rose. I think it's, it's like a floral, almost like a laundry day type of smell. It smells good though, like it. Hopefully it's moisturizing. It feels pretty moisturizing. So yeah, nice hand cream. Another compact mirror. This one features Luna. This little case is for your glasses. 
So you can slide a pair of glasses inside of there and then easily close it. This is not a hard pack case. This is a very soft glasses case. So I wouldn't use this if I'm like putting my glasses in my backpack because it tends to get squished. I would use a hard pack for this, but that would be great for like my purse. This is a very large folding mirror. I actually ended up using this mirror while I was in Japan because my hotel room didn't have a plug in the bathroom with the mirror. So I set this up in my hotel room next to a plug so that I could use it next to my hair straightener and see what I was doing. Really nice little padded mirror. Very much like it. Oh, I found another masking tape, of course. This is a little notepad set. Has some post-it notes in there. And then we have this little thing. This is very nice. It's made out of ceramic, I believe. Features Luna's Crescent Moon. It is based off of Luna, of course. You're supposed to put your toothbrush in there. So you can put this in the bathroom and then stick your toothbrush in there and let it hang out. Although I'm not sure if I would use this for a toothbrush. I have an electric one, so I probably wouldn't even fit in there. I'll have to find another use for this in my collection room. So let me know if you have any ideas. Okay, I have two of these cookies. They are a year old at this point, so... Do I try them or should I just leave them in the bags? At this point, they're probably disgusting. What do you think? <laughs> Let me know. These are a couple of really plush, comfy, like comfortable socks, loungewear, if you will. They had a bunch of different colors and characters to choose from. So I ended up getting the ones for Sailor Moon as well as Luna, because I wanted to get my favorite color. These are very, very plush, super, super soft. They do feature embroidery at the top of them along the ankle line. And then we have the nice rubber texture along the bottom just for the copyright symbol, which I think is very funny, but it's kind of nice that they have that down there. So if you wanna wear them around the house, maybe on a hardwood floor or something, you won't slip around. Very, very soft. I can't wait to use these. Super comfortable. So there we have the purple Luna ones, and then we have the pink Sailor Moon version. Ooh, these are nice. Next, I have a whole slew of can badges and I think stickers as well as pins that I wanted to show you. There were two versions of these blind bag canned badges. So first we have the super glittery ones that feature some art of all of the Sailor Guardians. Here we have Moon, Jupiter, Mercury, and Mars. Okay, I think this is everybody. Here we have Chibi Moon right there, Uranus, Venus, Saturn, Neptune, and Pluto right there. All of them are super glittery, very, very pretty can badges. They also did a second line of blind bagged can badges. So I ended up getting the full set of each of these. I did have to get them from a variety of sources. So I wouldn't have to buy a bunch of blind bags from the Sailor Moon Museum. So here we have the Outer Guardians as well as Pluto there. So pretty, really beautiful pieces. Then we have the Inner Guardians. Do I have all of them? Yes, I do. Awesome, there's the rest of them. These are really, really pretty. And I love that they're all glittery too. Along with the blind bags, we also had logo blind bags of each of the Sailor Moon season logos. So here we have, let's see, Sailor Moon Supers right there. Very pretty. Sailor Moon S. My favorite season, Sailor Moon original OG, Sailor Moon R. We have the Sailor Moon Museum logo as a pin. And I think there's one more. Yes, here it is, Sailor Moon Stars. Turn that around for you. There you go, Sailor Moon Stars. Cool. This is some OG art that I absolutely love. I got all of these stickers. So here we have each of these different art pieces as stickers. That's so cool. I don't think we've had any merch other than like laser discs that have this art on them. Oh, and I think DVDs from Japan. Really nice to be able to own these. And a whole slew of these really pretty stickers. And all of these are also shiny and sparkly as well. So we have a Sailor Chibi Moon sticker, Sailor Moon, Sailor Saturn, Pluto, Neptune. I think I got the whole set. Uranus, a Venus sticker, Mercury, Sailor Mars, and Sailor Jupiter. I really enjoy collecting clear files. So I got a ton of clear files from the Sailor Moon Museum as well. I'll fly through these so you can kind of see what each of them looks like. So here we have the logo, the Sailor Moon logo clear file. This is a very large clear file that is two-sided, a big folder type clear file. I'm, it feels like I'm talking about Pokemon. Folder type 
water type. Here we have one of each of the guardians, inners and outers as well. This beautiful clear file came with a miniature one on the back. These are just like the acrylic stands that you saw previously. Here's another miniature clear file on this one. Love this one that features a bunch of different comic panels. Very pretty. Many of these were folding clear files, so they featured art on both the front and the back. And they look so, so similar to the manga art that we got on the actual releases of manga. So love this. Here's another example of some folding clear files. Very, very pretty. This is one of my favorite pieces as well. I feel like I say that about everything, but I love Sailor Moon art so much. This one's really stunning. Such a beautiful piece of Sailor Moon. And then we have this one of Sailor Moon's items. Ooh, it's sparkly. The Sailor Moon Museum also had this gorgeous Aurora style mug that features Luna and Artemis on it. It's pink, super pretty, kind of an opalescent sheen to it. Very, very pretty. And then I have some coasters. These were all freebies with purchase from the Sailor Moon Cafe, which was open at the museum. I did a video vlog showing the Sailor Moon Cafe and what I ordered and did a little tasting there. But if you ordered a drink, you also got one of these as a freebie, as something to add on. Uh, they did come in these plastic covers, so you didn't have to use it necessarily. You could keep it for a collection, which is exactly what I did, because I really like the art that's featured on each of these. So pretty, love them. This haul is huge, I swear. This is a little rug that I got. It's pretty, it's very cute. Also kind of big, so a bit of a struggle to figure out how to get it home, but very pretty and super plush, love it. I haven't even taken this rug out yet, but this is a really cute plush rug that they had for sale at the museum. Uh, it is kind of plush and it was pretty large and bulky. So trying to figure out how to get this home from Japan was a bit of a struggle, but I did it. <laughs> This was a box of cookies, which are probably long expired by now, but uh, should I taste them? <laughs> I might. The museum did sell a couple of very, very pretty purses. So this is one of them, which features Luna and a very glittery textured front. This is supposed to be like fake leather, obviously. Very glittery. <laughs> really love the purple color on this. And it does come, there it is, it does come with this nice chain as well. This is the kind of chain that will catch your hair if you're not careful. So it does pull on hair, which is why I haven't used it yet. But such a pretty purse. I did want this in my collection. I also picked up this one of Sailor Moon's Compact, which I thought was absolutely beautiful. This one is of the same shape and it also features the same fake leather material and the same kind of strap. And they're both the same exact size too. So depending on what kind of style you wanted to go for, you could get either or. I think this bag would be great for makeup brushes. There's plenty of room in here to put a bunch of makeup brushes and be able to keep them from getting dirty. And it has this really cute glitter on this front of this transparent pouch. Love this little bag. I thought it was very cute and I like the design of it. I thought it was very pretty. This bag as well ended up being one of my favorite items from the Sailor Moon Museum. I love that we have just a screen capture from one of the original season one episodes. I thought that was so pretty. We have her moonstick down here. Of course, that's the moonstick with the silver crystal on it. So there's that. And this opalescent color for the plastic of this bag is very, very pretty. Now this is an open bag. There's no zipper, no button to keep it closed or anything. So not something I would carry around with me every single day, but still very cute. A nice little cute crossbody bag. You saw this girl on my giveaway video because I was giving one of her away and she is so gorgeous, so beautiful, but I actually got two for myself from the museum while I was there. So I was able to pick these up and get the extra ones for myself. One so that I can open it and the other one so I can keep her in the box. And the last item I have from the Sailor Moon Museum is this absolutely beautiful art print of the Sailor Moon Museum art of Sailor Moon in her cape. I love this art print. It is so clear and so gorgeously done. It did come in this frame, so it had to be special ordered. It was a pre-order item, so I wasn't able to pick it up or anything there at the, at the Sailor Moon Museum. This came in the mail many, many months later. But if you take a close look at this art, you can really see all the detail that went into it when Naoko 
uh, drew it originally. So there's a lot going on with this art, all the way from the background with the moon, her moon stick is glowing, even her compact looks like it's just straight up gemstones. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I love that there's a reflection down at the bottom. It's really, really pretty. I would love to have like an original piece of art from Naoko, that would be incredible. But being able to have like an art print like this is very, very cool. So we've gone through everything. I have a whole pile of stuff in front of me. It's all merchandise, but we did have a couple of cookies and a doll to open. So let's open the doll. So I am gonna keep one of her in the box. I'm gonna open one. I'm excited about this. I've been wanting to open this doll for a very long time. So I'm so excited to be able to finally record this video and open her on camera for y'all. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh my gosh. So there are some strings holding her in place along the back, as well as a few different plastic tabs. She is so pretty. Oh. Trying to be extremely careful with this knife so I don't end up like scuffing her. Ha, huh, she's free. Okay, I got her out, yay. Okay, so she doesn't come with a stand or anything because she's she's a doll. She's a play doll. She's like a Barbie. Wow. Is she posable? Whoa. Okay, she is posable. You can pose the doll. You can sit her down. You can stand her up. Uh, for example, here we have her knees. Her knees move. That's awesome. Do her shoes come off? Her shoes come off. Oh, oh my God, this is cute. Guys, I'm so excited. Let's look at the doll close up. So here we have this... Princess Serenity doll, which was only available at the museum itself. Her hair is a little stiff at the ends where they have tightened it so that it doesn't get undone. It's not in an actual braid, it's just tw twisted. Let's fix her earrings. I love her earrings. I love that we have the cute little crescent moons on her earrings. And she has those cute little tendrils of hair next to her face. Her bangs look great. She's got the little hair barrettes in her hair right there. These look more like, I don't know, Princess Leia Star Wars buns than Odongos, but we'll, we'll go with it. We won't mess those up. And she is very, very much posable. This is really cute. I love how she looks. Oh, and she even has a cute little necklace on. Wow, I love this. She's very detailed. Look at her eyes too. They did a great job painting her eyes, giving her a lot of a lot of depth. A lot of different colors are going on in there. We have a little bit of a purple like lavender color in the middle. So quite a bit of depth. She does have a crescent moon on her forehead. It's painted. We can have her sit down, for example, or stand up, depending on how you want her posed. Oh, and you can twist her legs as well. Check this out. So you can twist her body around. You can like twist her, her waist. That's pretty cool. Nice little feature of these dolls. Her dress is also really beautiful. Um, it's it's not like a high quality material by any any means, but it's very nicely done, nicely made. The bow is extremely long, just like it should be. And they could have done a little bit better of a job making this embroidery look a little bit more structured, a little bit more even, but it does look good. It's pretty nice. She's beautiful. I'm quite impressed with this doll. She's so pretty. And I'm glad that I got two of them so I can leave one in the box and have her displayed out here. She's so cute. Oh, I'm I'm loving this doll. She's just adorable. Oh, good. They're all separately wrapped. So here's the cookies. I decided to go ahead and open these. I wanted to see if they taste good at all or if they're so stale at this, at this point that it's not even worth it. Okay, we're gonna find out how these cookies taste. So here's a moonstick cookie. Oh, it's like shortbread. Mm. Yeah, it tastes kind of terrible. <laughs> I guess I should have expected that, them to taste terrible because they're so old at this point, like they're like a year old. I probably should not, not eat that, but you know, why not? Yeah, that doesn't taste good. <laughs> it tastes really stale and they are dry, crunchy, obviously. Um, I can tell that there is some sugar going on in there, but it, it tastes like a very, very old shortbread cookie. The kind that you would like dip in milk or dip in like coffee or something like that. Does not taste good. Do not recommend. No, not at all. Should I taste one of these? <sighs> okay. Okay, I'll do it. I am doing this for you. Well, at least with this one, it smells like sugar. I don't know though. 
I do not know about this. Okay, so this cookie got kind of destroyed, which is the reason that why I decided to open this one. Okay, I can taste the icing. The icing is pretty sweet, sugary. Um, tastes a lot better than those shortbread cookies. I will tell you that. What is that? There's like a candy, like a hard candy in the center of it to create the compact. I can tell that the sugar has like crystallized on this, um, but it tastes like hard candy. So it's not terrible. Tastes like sugary candy. This one is not terrible, even though it's super old and I probably should not be eating that at all. At least it doesn't taste as stale as those cookies, which ugh, they have a bad aftertaste. Do not recommend. <laughs> Okay, um, now that I have a giant mess in front of me, that is the end of my Sailor Moon 2022 Museum Haul. Do you have any questions about any of these merch items? Do you wanna know more about any of them? I'm more than happy to post a short video or answer any questions down below in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you are interested in seeing more Sailor Moon hauls, merch reviews, as well as how to's in order to learn how to purchase these items yourself. Huge thank you so much for supporting my content. I love making these haul videos. It is so much fun and I have a lot of boxes to go through to share with you. So stick around if you're interested in seeing some newer merchandise reviews as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Jane.